Greetings, this is Professor Jassan of Os Melangels de Mestre Toro, and I'm working for the William Grant Still Center. This is African Martial Arts. This is week two. This week, we will be working on the movement known as Awu, and we'll be discussing African spirituality as it relates to the area known as Angola. So before I start talking about the area known as Angola, I want to talk about who colonized this area. So the reason why we need to speak about the colonizer is because the, the group of people who colonized Angola brought Africans from Angola into Brazil and into other areas on the continent of the world, excuse me. So when we look at this, colonial Africa, the area in the yellow is the area that we, we want to be concerned about. So we see that the Portuguese colonized this region known as Angola. And as we've discussed in previous sessions, that the great warrior queen in Jinga came from this area. This is the area known as Angola. This is the area that many people identify with as capoeiras because capoeira fundamentally comes from the area of Central Africa, Angola, and the Congo. So when we think about what is coming out of Angola, the spiritual system, I wanna talk about the, base, the basic spiritual idea that also finds its way in capoeira. And that is the Kalunga. The Kalunga, first we must understand that this Congolese Angolan idea is indigenously African. But the people of this region, many of them accepted Christianity during periods of colonialism and also pre-slavery, they, they accepted Christianity and some were exposed to Christianity, but when they were, when they accepted Christianity and some were exposed to it, the African philosophy is that if there are two good things, we won't throw away the old good thing, we'll just incorporate the new good thing with the old. So many Africans incorporated Christianity into their spiritual system and continued on practicing their indigenous faith. So this is the Kalunga. When the Kalunga is drawn on the body of a capurista, we oftentimes draw it like this. This Kalunga actually represents the four moments of the sun. And the first point is black, it means birth. Then the second is maturity. Third is moving into the ancestral realm. And last is rebirth. So the black area is birth, life, being born. The red area is maturity, being at the apex of one's power. And the white is moving into the ancestral realm, or death. And yellow is rebirth. We live die and die to live again. So when we look at this, as I said before, this area of black is concerned with the living. The area of white is concerned with moving into the ancestral realm. The red area is looked at as a, an area that is like a mirror, that when we're at that point in the Kulunga, we are able to actualize our power. The area at the bottom is the yellow area. And this is a realm where individuals who have had uncommon births can utilize that energy and even see into the other realm. So as I, I discussed before, above is the physical realm and below is the spiritual realm. When we are performing the art of capoeira, as we invert, we are seeing the world 
from a very spiritual perspective. We invert and then we stand erect and we are at the apex of our power. This is so very interesting and so very powerful, this physical world. And when we look at the aspect of the Kalunga, the Kalunga is also in the shape of the Hoda, the Hoda of Capoeira. So there are so many powerful similarities between this aspect of the Kalunga and the aspect of Capoeira. When we look at African people, when we look at anyone who is practicing Capoeira, oftentimes before they enter into the Hoda, they will draw the sign of the Kalunga on their body. And this, in reality, is out of recognition of the Kulunga. This is recognition of the spiritual aspect of Capoeira. So as we proceed, I want to continue this discussion of movement. The movement that we're going to discuss today is Au. And many of us understand Au to basically be a cartwheel. But when we invert, when we turn our body and the top of the Kulunga becomes the bottom, we're able to see the world from a very powerful and spiritual perspective. So let us move forward and practice Au, not only as an aspect of attack, but also as a movement that helps to catapult us into a higher level of spiritual consciousness. I am Professor Jason, and let's move on into the Au. This is the movement Au. So a jinga, enter Au. Jinga back. Notice I step forward, one hand down, the next hand down, awu, inverting, just like the kalunga. Enter, awu, jinga, from the side. Enter, awu. So please try this slow and try to tuck your chin to your chest as you owl over so that you can see what's in front of you. Obrigado. Thank you. 